Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and I'm back with a tutorial on kits. Now, this was requested by X, oh man, I wrote it down, X Bazaar HD, and um, I found it really, really gr a great plugin. It's very quick, it's very easy to use. There's not a whole lot of uh, configuration in the config file, so it's pretty user friendly. It's very flexible, you can change it on the fly. So, let's get into it. First of all, you don't need to do anything in the configuration file. You just plop this in your plugins folder, fire it up, and then it'll generate all the files you need, but you don't need to edit any of them. The only thing that you can edit in the config file is the cooldown time, which is how often people can use the, the command or the kit. Uh, the only downside is, is it's a blanket time. You can't specify per kit. Um, I don't actually use this one. I use essentials kits. I will do a tutorial on that and then annotate the link once that one's ready um, the difficulty of that is you can't do anything in game it's all config files so you got to bring the server down it's a little bit more complicated but still a little bit more flexible this one's still fantastic plugin let's get into it so like I said everything's in game and what you want to do is start your your character load up the the uh, things that you want just a side note I had to use a uh, um, anvil to enchant all these things the way that I wanted to and then the other limitation of this uh, this plugin is you're only allowed nine unique items you know aka filling up your hopper however I do want to try I'm gonna test something out here real quick um, just just for just for the lulls of it um, this will tell me a little bit more okay so what you want to do is, first of all, you want to give the permissions out. Make sure the people who want to use the kit that you're going to name it, it gets access to kits.spawn.kitName, whatever the kit name is that you're going to create. And then also, if you want people to be able to give kits to other people, it's kits.spawn.others.kitName. Kit name. All these will be on the screen as you can see already. And then your admins, kits.admin. And then if you want people to be able to bypass the cooldown time, like your VIPs or like they could just run it whenever they want, it's kits.bypass. Pretty straightforward. I'll show you how it works. Okay. So you got your, your hot bar full of stuff and your oh I'm my microphone's blocking my keyboard, but you just do kit. First of all, you can do kits and it'll tell you um how many kits you you have access to, which I don't have any kits created. There's a basic one that's created automatically. I deleted that one because I don't need it. So we're gonna do kit create, and then uh, we're gonna call it guard because I've already set up the permissions for the guard. And uh, so you'll get this inventory stuff. I don't know what why black wool is here, but uh, basically you just drag everything up here. Can I just, I'll just shift click it up there. And then you hit E and exit. There we go. Kit guard has been created. Voila. It is that easy. And then you can edit it later. Kit, edit, and then guard is the name. of. There you go. Um, and yeah, it is the only nine bars, nine unique items. That's how it goes with the essentials kit. There's no limitation of how much stuff they get. But I am going to change myself. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Okay. I'm going to change myself here. Pex. Uh, I'm just going to move myself over to be a C guard. Group set C guard. All right, we're going to test. There we go. I'm a C guard. So now I can do kit guard. And there I go. I get all my stuff. Um, I'm just going to put it all up in here. Oh, I'm putting it on. Okay, that works. And then also you this this plugin does have the functionality of doing signs and this is all you would do is you do the the brackets kit and then the name of the kit that's it right click on it you get all your stuff I don't have a cooldown timer set up so that's how that goes um, and I think that is about it side note on that I don't like the the permissions doesn't distinguish between signs and commands. So the one thing I don't like is that if they have permission to the kit, they can run the command or access the sign, which makes the sign kind of null and not useful. However, if you don't give them the, the option or the access to the permission, no kit dot spawn dot kit, you know, uh, guard, then you can also use command signs to give them access to the certain kits and it requires them to go up to a sign to run it. Check out my tutorial on command signs. It'll be down below or I think over here. I don't know, down below. 
check that tutorial out. It's pretty easy. I show you how to run command server side commands, which are uh, separate of permission nodes, and you can then set it up so then all they have they have to use assigned in order to access the kit. They can't they can't put in the command. So that is it. Like I said, it's really easy. Man, I look pretty awesome with the purple armor, but. Um, it's really easy. It's very flexible. You can change it on the go. You can edit the kits so then automatically everybody who has access to that kit, that's what they get when they run the kit command. Um, I'll do an essentials kit uh, tutorial as well, as I said. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so if you found this, this helpful, please help me out. Uh, put a like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, tweet it, all that stuff. And also suggest a plugin. If you want me to do a tutorial on another one, I have a list and it's pretty long. But if I find the plugin pretty awesome, um, I'll do a plug, I'll do a tutorial on it sooner than later. And I'll give you guys credit. And yeah, this is Cost from McFriends. And as always, enjoy the game. Ashley, someone help me. Hey, Throw some grenades down there. Oh, I, I lost my soul.